Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. This is a compilation of all of my previous deals video covering the summer sale in one video. This should be about 100 deals in total. Remember, we did under $3, under $5, under $10. Actually, did that twice, and then we also did under $20. Have a look at all of them if you want it more in this compilation form, and uh, all the deals will be in the description box below as well. Thank you for all of the support during the summer sale, and enjoy. How is it going, everyone? Steam is running its uh, gargantuan Steam summer sale, and we are back again to cover it with deals under the price of $3. We've got 20 plus deals to go over, so let's just get right into it. Let's try to go through this a little bit quicker, not go too in-depth with every game when you're spending under $3. Yes, these games are all pretty good, but we don't need to meticulously dissect every single one of them. Uh, but let's get started. Tomb Raider 2013 is down to 3 bucks. It's Tomb Raider. You guys know I love these games ever since the 2013 reboot. Rise of the Tomb Raider was great. SOTR was great. Tomb Raider 2013 kicks it off, and it's a very, very good game. It's a little bit on the shorter side. You do have optional Tomb and things of that nature, but a solid game all around, and for $3, a no-brainer there. Next up, we have Undertale, which is 70% off for $2.99. A very throwback RPG. It's a game that, uh, you know, it's writing, narrative, and atmosphere. They do those elements very, very well. It's probably not going to be a game that everybody can click with, especially with, you know, its old-school presentation, but I think from a writing standpoint, it's great, and uh, the thematics of the game are fantastic. So for $2.99, it's a great price for Undertale, which for a while was holding up in price. Next up, we have Murdered Soul Suspect, 90% off for a buck 99. In my opinion, this game is a little underrated. Now, take it for somebody that initially bought this game at like the full $50. Absolutely was not worth that price point, but it's a pretty interesting supernatural uh, detective game. Very much uh, focused on its world, its atmosphere, not more of uh, not, you know, heavy on action gameplay or anything like that, but narratively, it's pretty good. And for a buck 99, I think it's a pretty good deal. Next up, we have Enslaved Odyssey to the West Premium Edition. I think people are getting a little bit sick of me mentioning this game but whatever it's under three bucks and i think it's a great game i know some people definitely give it flack for its age its clunky controls um and some uh, some of the elements like that i think the strengths of the game greatly outweigh the negatives it's got a great world it's a post-apocalyptic game but it's super super colorful the two main characters are pretty solid in monkey and trip i do know that you know i personally feel i should say that the narrative uh Towards the end of the game, really kind of fumbles, but, you know, overall, it's still a really good game. And I really enjoyed it from a gameplay standpoint. From $2.99, I think it's a good price. Psychonauts, 75% off for $2.49. Great price on Psychonauts, which is a classic as far as old-school platformers go. Um... You know, Psychonauts 2 certainly is a game that is more modernized and obviously came out in the last couple of years. This game shows its age, but if you're a fan of throwback platformers, you know, with quirky character design and charming elements, Psychonauts is going to be exactly for you. And for $249, I think it's a great price. Next up, we have Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior 2 is on sale as well. Both of these games are down to $2.99. And for that price, you really can't go wrong. Like, both games are pretty solid. Shadow Warrior 2, in my opinion, is the stronger game, but uh, both will be worth your time and money. Over-the-top, visceral, gory uh, first-person titles, first-person slashers, really. Uh, a lot of fun to be had, and for $2.99 a pop, definitely a good buy there. There is the Shadow Warrior Trilogy bundle, but Shadow Warrior 3 is expensive. It's a more recent release, so it's not really worth it from that standpoint. I would just check out Shadow Warrior uh, 1 or 2. Next up, Prince of Persia Sands of Time, 80% off for a buck 99. Gotta include this just for the memes of, you know, the remake never gonna come to fruition. Prince of Persia Sands of Time is a classic. Again, a game that's gonna show its age. It's two decades old at this point. I think maybe even longer than that. Um, but Prince of Persia is a good time. Uh, action platforming, just a classic here. And there's a reason why so many people are excited about the potential of a remake. Who knows if it'll ever come to fruition, but for now, a buck 99 for the Sands of Time. I think that's a pretty good price. Next up, we have Rogue Legacy, 80% off for $2.99. I do know that Rogue Legacy 2 is out at this stage of the game, but if you're a fan of action roguelikes, this is going to be a fun one, incredibly replayable, has a good bit of challenge to it, but I think the majority of you guys will enjoy it if you're into this style of game for $2.99, a good buy here as well. Next up, Just Cause 3, 85% off for $2.99. Just Cause 3 was one of the uh, lesser PC ports of all time, let's just say it like that, but it has gotten much better since its initial launch, and 
what Just Cause offers is just total mayhem, total chaos, and that is what you can also get. That's what you can always expect out of a Just Cause game. Just explosions, chaotic action, nothing that's going to grip you from a storytelling standpoint, but if you want to see crazy explosions and just tune out and have a good time in an open world, Just Cause is always going to offer you that, and for $2.99, this is a great buy. Highly, highly recommend it, so check that out. Next up, we have Metro, Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light Redux. Metro 2033 is $1.99, while Metro Last Light is $2.99. Both games are very much worth it. You can also buy the Metro Saga Bundle which will include Metro Exodus and that game's DLC uh, for $9 and change. All of those deals are really good. I would say, um, you know, if you can spend the $10, get the uh, collection, the Saga Bundle. It's $9.76, so almost $10, but... You know, either way, uh, if you just want to pick up Last Light, if you just want to pick up uh, 2033, uh, that option is good as well. I would probably say check out 2033. Most of you probably have Last Light from when it was free, but that remember, that was the base Last Light game, not Redux. Uh, Redux revamps the visuals, so... You know, that's something to consider as well. But I would also recommend to play these games uh, chronologically. So I wouldn't play Last Light before 2033. And I wouldn't start off with Exodus, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, games are really good. Atmospheric first-person titles. Next up, we have Inside, a buck ninety-nine. You know, as far as Play Dead games go, I feel like Limbo gets more love than Inside. But Inside is just as good of a game. It's got that same very eerie, dark, atmospheric uh, vibe. And, um, you know, it's a game that I think most of you guys will enjoy if you're into these styles of artistic. Uh, titles for a buck 99 it's a great deal and i believe the steepest discount we've seen on this game there is an inside and limbo bundle so if you want to get both games that's two dollars and 68 cents sounds like a pretty good deal to me so that's something to consider as well. Next up, another game I always go to bat for, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition, 85% off for $3. It is such a shame that this game does not get more love because I think if more people played it, they would absolutely love it and we would get a Sleeping Dogs 2. I don't know if that's ever going to come to fruition. Probably not, but Sleeping Dogs 1, uh, I should just say Sleeping Dogs, is an awesome game. It's more of a contained open world than, let's say, a GTA, which it's often compared to, but um, the open world still has some size to it. It's got a good bit of content. The combat in the game, I think, is great. A fantastic main character visually still looks pretty good and with the definitive edition you do get a ton of bonus content as well so you know overall just a great great deal that i would strongly recommend next up witcher 2 assassins of kings enhanced edition 299 I mean, Witcher at this point is a classic franchise. Witcher 2, obviously not as big of a scale game as Witcher 3. Witcher 3 is this colossal open world. Witcher 2 is not that. You have more contained levels in this game that, you know, you can definitely do additional content and things like that, but it's more of a contained world. But for $2.99, this is such a great deal. Um, it still holds up fairly well. Witcher 1 is the one that really shows its age, and it's a buck forty-nine. They are doing a full-on remake for that game, but that probably won't be out until, like, literally 2028, so... You know, if you want to pick up Witcher 1, go for it, uh, and you can play the remake when it comes out, but uh, Witcher 2 for $2.99, great deal on that. Next up, Sonic Adventure 2, 75% off for $2.49. This is an all-time classic for me. Like, this is a game that I grew up playing. It's fantastic. Soundtrack is great. Platforming gameplay is great. Uh, just so much fun to be had and so much replayability as well. It's Sonic at its absolute peak form, and $2.49 for this is a great deal. One of the classic games, you know, whether you played it on the Dreamcast, whether you played it on the GameCube, Sonic Adventure Adventure 2, uh, for a lot of people, has a lot of nostalgia attached to it. Next up, Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut, 85% off for $2.99. It's Deus Ex Human Revolution. I talk about Mankind Divided all the time. It's a great game, but Human Revolution is a better game, at least narratively. Um, gameplay, it's really good. Replayability, decision-making, a great setting, a great main character as well. Let's hope that we get another Deus Ex title. Director's Cut also has the Missing Link expansion, which is nice, so... You know, $2.99 for this, great deal, solid pickup all around. Next up, we have Fallout 3, and let's give a mention of Fallout New Vegas. Both are $2.49 a pop for the base games. If you want the bonus content, you can pick up the Game of the Year or the Ultimate Edition, respectively, but if you're trying to stay under 3 bucks, the base game's fine as well. Fallout 3, uh, a very good game. Fallout New Vegas is the one that people seem to really, really uh, appreciate. Obsidian did a fantastic job with this game. Hopefully, they do do a sequel, but yeah, New Vegas is an all-time classic and very much worth a playthrough at this price point. Next up, Bastion. We have that for $2.99. That is a great pickup for a great game that I would strongly recommend. Uh, Bastion was done by Supergiant Games, who knocked it out of the park with this one. Obviously, at this point, they're very much known for Hades, and they did a great job with Hades as well, but uh, Bastion's a great game that has a great art style, has aged well, 
gameplay, you know, that's fine, it's good, but, uh, you know, from an art style standpoint, presentation, soundtrack, those elements are incredibly, incredibly strong, and for $2.99, great deal here. And then lastly, we have Castle Crashers, which is 80% off for $2.99. This is a game that I would absolutely recommend everybody to check out, but you do want to play this game with friends. Um, you know, sometimes with a, with a game like Borderlands, I'll say, you know, you can play that game solo. Castle Crashers is absolutely designed to play with your friends, and it's a fantastic time when you do play with your friends. Um, you know, it's a game that you can always jump back into if you guys just want to have some casual fun. This is a funny beat 'em up title that uh, most uh, that it was, was an iconic game in the 360 days. So definitely for this price, it's great. But that is gonna do it for me. Again, deals under three dollars. Links to all of these deals in the description box below. As always, thanks for all the support as I've been covering the summer sale. That's gonna do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to continue covering the Steam Summer Sale. Now looking at games under the price of $5. Now this is going to be a little different because I'm not going to go under the price of $3. That's going to be a separate video. You guys know how this works. There's like 8 billion games on sale that like under $5 can be like 4,000 games. So... We're gonna do three to five dollars. I know the title says under five dollars. Wait for the under three and we'll go even cheaper than that, but let's get right into it. Let's start off with a couple Batman games. Batman Arkham Knight is $3.99 and obviously Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, they're all on sale. If you don't have any of the Arkham games, get the Batman Arkham Collection. That's nine dollars, but you'll get Arkham Knight, you'll get Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, and you'll get the season pass. You'll pay a little more, but still, if you just want one, Arkham Knight for four dollars is a good deal. Obviously, this is the newest one, so I'm inclined to mention this. Visually, it definitely looks better than Asylum and City, and from a technical standpoint, it is a much better performing game than it was in June of 2015. We all know that, you know, it's 1A, 1B when it comes to worst PC port of all time. When you look at Batman Arkham Knight and you look at Star Wars Jedi Survivor, right, it truly is 1A, 1B. But uh, Arkham Knight is much better now, and it's a worthwhile game to go through. Also want to give a shout to Batman Arkham Origins, the red-headed stepchild of the Batman Arkham franchise. Arkham Origins is not as good of a game as Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, or Arkham Knight, but it's still a pretty decent game, and in fact, wasn't even done by Rocksteady. It was done by WB Games Montreal, who did Gotham Knights as well. I know Gotham Knights, kind of a mixed reception, but Arkham Origins, certainly a quality game to go through, and I would say, you know, give it a playthrough. When it came out, it did have multiplayer support, but, uh, you could, that, that's not a thing anymore. You're buying this for the single player campaign. And the single player campaign's pretty uh, darn decent. All right, moving on from that, Hellblade Sun was sacrificed. We got this for four dollars and forty nine cents. Hellblade Sun was sacrificed is an incredibly atmospheric and engrossing action title. When we were leading up to the release of this game, I was not totally sold on it, but then it came out and blew me away. Graphically, aesthetically, this game is tremendous. And you're, if you're looking for a darker game as far as tone goes, this is exactly what you're gonna get. Obviously, Hellblade Two is in development right now. You know, I am cautiously optimistic for that game, but they're just not showing anything outside of just, like, weird walking sim stuff, so it's just, like, weird what's going on with that game. Hopefully it's out in 2024 and turns out to be great, but, uh, for now, Sun was Sacrifice, certainly well worth a playthrough, 449, great deal on that. Next up, Dust and Elysian Tale, 75% off for $3.74. This is a fantastic action platforming Metroidvania, a great, great game that I would highly recommend. Came out all the way back in 2013, and when this game initially came out, it had a good bit of buzz around it. Obviously, you know, a lower key title like this, it's not gonna uh, maintain that buzz for a decade, but I think, you know, it's a game that I'm always gonna give a shout to, especially at this price. Great art style, great presentation, gameplay solid as well, 374, great buy on that. Next up, Cat Quest. We got this for $4.28. Great game if you're looking for something more accessible. If you're playing a lot of Elden Ring and you need something that's the polar opposite, Cat Quest is gonna fit the bill. It's gonna be an enjoyable experience for you to get in, you know, have some charming fun. It's a game that's accessible to pretty much any age range, and they're actually doing more Cat Quest titles. The second game is out, and then the third game uh, will be out sometime in 2023, I believe. Cat Quest 2 is on sale, and there is a bundle. Cat Quest 2 is $4.94. The bundle is $8.30 if you do want to get both games, so I'll leave that uh, decision-making up to you guys. Next up, Valkyria Chronicles, 75% off for $4.99. A fantastic tactical uh, strategy JRPG. It is a great game with a really strong narrative. 
awesome watercolor art style that has just aged incredibly gracefully. It still looks very, very good to this day. Is it challenging? At times, it can be. Um, you know, there's just one mission in particular that definitely did tilt me a little bit, but the game is so good from a narrative standpoint. Um, it's not like a lot of other JRPGs. There's no overworld to explore or anything like that. The game is told through a very unique, uh, like, storybook. It's done pretty well. Sizable amount of content, though. It's still gonna be uh, a lengthy experience. Five bucks for it. No-brainer there. Next up, Little Nightmares. 75% off for $4.99. This is an incredibly atmospheric horror uh, title. It's got some, you know, exploration, adventure. Uh, incredibly engrossing from an atmosphere standpoint as well, and that's what you want out of a horror game. $4.99 for this, I think, is really good. And a franchise that has really become a lot more popular than I think uh, Bandai Namco initially expected. Uh, with it doing very well, um, you know, there was a sequel and Apparently, a third game is in the works, so we'll see if that comes to fruition. Uh, the base game is five bucks. There's a complete edition for seven forty nine, and there's a bundle with both games, uh, Little Nightmares one and two, for nineteen forty three. Kind of pricey there, but is what it is. Next up, Far Cry three four ninety nine. This is the game that really brought Far Cry to a wider audience, and since Far Cry three, obviously Ubisoft have been doing a little spam arena when it comes to Far Cry, but Far Cry three is still excellent. Um, doesn't overstay its welcome to the uh, towards the end. Yeah, I can see that argument, but man, it's still an enjoyable open world action FPS for four ninety nine. I think it's a great buy. Obviously, you're playing this, you're buying this for the single player component, but. You know, and I know some of you guys don't even want to support Ubisoft uh, anymore with everything they're doing, but, uh, you know, Far Cry 3 is a great game, and I would still say it's well worth a pickup, so $4.99, goodbye on that, all things considered. Next up, I want to give a shout out to Prototype. It's 75% off for $4.99. Uh, Prototype came out back in 2009, and it came out right around the time of Infamous 1, and there was this big superhero battle, which game is going to turn out to be better, and Infamous, without a doubt, was the better game. Prototype still offered a lot of chaotic... Uh, fun with a ton of mayhem. The superpowers were insane. Narratively, it didn't really hit home with me, and visually speaking, um, that was definitely, like, back in 09, like, the reason I think most people, like, crapped on this game, but you know, at this point, like, visuals are what they are. Gameplay-wise, Prototype is great. I think for five bucks, it's a decent pickup, so I would give it a shout. Uh, next up, we have Mad Max, 75% off for $4.99. Now, this game had the unfortunate fate of being released the same day as Metal Gear Solid Five, and when you're talking about two big open-world games releasing on the same day, what do you think people are gonna go with, Mad Max or MGS5? Well, people went with MGS5, but Mad Max turned out to be a pretty decent game in its own right. Open-world, great combat, uh, vehicular destruction, just a solid game. Narratively, gets you know, pretty decent, and uh, unfortunately, we're probably never gonna get a sequel, given that this game came out eight years ago, which is wild to think about, but uh, for five bucks, it's a great deal, and by the way, excellent PC version for this game as well, so that's uh, fantastic, so check that out, $4.99 on that. Next up, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, 65% off for $3.49. Look, we know that Aspire is working on a remake for this game, but working on is uh, something that might be seen as a bit of a stretch at this point. We don't know what the status of that game is, we don't know if it's ever going to come to fruition, and KOTOR is still a tremendous, tremendous RPG. Yes, does it show its age? Absolutely. You're talking about a game that's two decades old at this point but it is an excellent RPG that is really Bioware in their top form, and you see this game from a decision-making standpoint, depth, it's a great game, still, you know, is a worthwhile game to go through, and I think for $3.49, it's a good buy, and uh, I would give it a look. Next up, Wolfenstein The New Order, $4.99 on this, a over-the-top first-person shooter with a lot of mayhem to this one as well, decent narrative, and I thought overall it was a pretty decent game. Wolfenstein isn't, like, my favorite franchise ever, but I like, you know, the gimmicky nature of it, and for $4.99, I think it's a good buy if you're into solo FPSs. Next up, we have Sonic Generations The Collection. You get the base game and the DLC. Sonic Generations is awesome, and this is, uh, this game came out in a time where Sonic was really, like, for every good game you got, you got, like, four bad games, and Sonic Generations ended up being one of the good games, and it turned out to be a really, really good game, mix mashing, you know, the Sonic of old and the Sonic of new. You have some 3D gameplay, you have some 2D gameplay, and you have have Sonic in its peak form. If you're remotely a fan of Sonic gameplay, I think you're really going to dig Sonic Generations at for $4.99. Uh, a solid buy here for sure. Next up, another JRPG, Tales of Berseria is $4.99. Great deal. 90% off for a fantastic JRPG with one of the more compelling main characters that you're going to find in Velvet. Uh, she's definitely been through uh, some stuff. 
And she's definitely got a bit of an edge to her that a lot of other Tales of and JRPG main characters just don't have. A great game and for $4.99, uh, definitely worthwhile. And if you're looking to get into the Tales of franchise, Berseria is a pretty darn good one. Next up, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We got this for $4.49. Uh, I would recommend you to play Human Revolution. We'll mention that in our under $3 video. But Mankind Divided is a decent game as well. Not the greatest PC port when it initially came out and definitely has some elements that didn't hit home as much like it did with Human Revolution narratively, um, it kind of falters, and when you're talking about Deus Ex, faltering from a narrative standpoint is honestly a really big bummer. Mankind Divided is still good, however, the gameplay I think is stronger than Human Revolution. Visually, it looks good, and, um, you know, for this uh, price point, uh, it's a solid shout, and you'll get some good gameplay out of it for sure. Next up, Mirror's Edge 08, 75% off for $4.99. Man, this was one of the most unique games that EA ever published, focusing on parkour gameplay, and obviously, it's a bit on the shorter side, and maybe that was ultimately the game's undoing at a $60 price point, but now you're paying 5 bucks for it, so obviously, that isn't an issue. It's a game that has a lot of replayability. People go for, you know, the pacifist runs and whatnot. Um, just a great game. $4.99, I think, is a good buy, so check it out if you've never played Mirror's Edge. Walking Dead Season 1, 374. I've always mentioned that when it comes to Telltale Games, 1A, 1B. When it comes to uh, Walking Dead Season 1 and Wolf Among Us for me. Walking Dead Season 1 is fantastic. The culmination in Season 1 is... You know, gut, it, it's just an emotional roller coaster. Let's put it that way since... You know, some of you guys probably have never checked out these games and... There's a lot of spoilers that can be had, but Walking Dead Season 1 is tremendous, and for this price, uh, no-brainer. It, like, won a Game of the Year awards when it initially came out, so, yeah, worthwhile game to go through there. Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon 479, I've mentioned this game all the time. Great open-world action RPG with uh, quite a bit of challenge to it as well. Dragon's Dogma 2 is on the horizon, so definitely a good shout to check out Dragon's Dogma 1. Doom 2016, over-the-top first-person shooting, a mayhem, a lot of gore, a lot of blood, but uh, if you're into that over-the-top action from a first-person shooter, you'll find that with Doom. Great soundtrack here as well. And then Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition, 75% off for $4.99. One of the better games that Microsoft has published in recent memory. Blind Forest is great, Will of the Wisps is great, but obviously play Blind Forest first. It's a tremendous game with a fan uh, fantastic art style. That has held up really, really well. So, uh, yeah, Ori and the Blind Forest uh, must play their five bucks no-brainer there. But that is going to do it for me. Links to all of these deals, as always, will be in the description box below. Uh, a lot of great deals available, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Even if you want to look at more 3 to $5 games, I could do, like, 84 more videos about games under that price. All right, that's a little bit of a stretch, but you get the idea. There's just an absurd amount of deals available right now. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to cover the Steam Summer Sale. We're gonna kick it off with 20 games under the price of $10. We're not gonna go below $5 because I plan to do an under $5 video. Uh, there's a ton of games to go over. Some of these games are bundles, so you'll get multiple games with a purchase. So technically it's over 20 games, but it's 20 listings. You guys get the idea. Links to all of these, as always, will be in the description box below. Let's get right into it, and off the top, I do want to mention Halo the Master Chief Collection, 75% off for $9.99. This is such a good deal. Xbox Game Pass, be damned. You'll want this in your Steam library. At least I would want it. Halo is an iconic franchise, and you're getting some tremendous games in this bundle. You're getting Halo Anniversary, Halo Reach, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4. All of the games are good, and some of them are absolutely excellent. I personally love Halo Reach, love Halo Combat Evolved, loved Halo 3. Halo 2 is obviously great. Uh, ODST and 4 are what they are. ODST obviously a smaller game, but you're getting all of those games for $9.99. Even if you don't have any interest in the multiplayer from a campaign standpoint, that's a sizable amount of content. $10, no brainer. That is a definite recommendation. Next up, a personal recommendation of mine Weird West Definitive Edition, 75% off for $9.99. I really enjoyed this game. Is it a bit janky? Does it have some clunkiness to it and some bugs to it? Yes, but. I really like the decision-making process in the game. There's a lot of replayability, and the thing about the decision-making is that there's actual consequences in your decisions. It doesn't feel like you're just making decisions for the sake of them, but they actually impact your overarching playthrough, leading to some replayability. A single playthrough is already relatively lengthy, and at $9.99, I think this is a really good buy. 
would highly, highly recommend it. Next up, Batman Arkham Collection, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight Season Pass, $9? You kidding me? Oh, hell yeah, that's gonna be a pickup. Arkham Knight was one of the worst PC ports of all time, but it is much, much better now, and it's a great game in its own right. I do think it's the weakest of the three main Arkham titles. Arkham Origins is worth a pickup as well, but uh, Knight is still a really good game. Asylum surprisingly holds up really well, in my opinion. Like, that's a game that I think you you can go back and play now and still have a great time with it. And bear in mind, came out 13, 14 years ago, excuse me, it's 2023, 14 years ago, and uh, still holds up well. All three games for nine bucks, a steal there, definitely check it out. Next up, Max Payne 3, 70% off for six dollars. You know, when you talk about Rockstar, people gravitate towards GTA, people gravitate towards Red Dead. Max Payne does not get a lot of love, and Max Payne 3 was awesome. Yes, it's over a decade old, but this game still has some of the best uh, mechanics that you're going to find find out of a third person shooter and gunplay you're gonna find the slow-mo mechanic works well super mature story here but for six bucks a definite pickup here and uh, would strongly recommend it again gets kind of lost in the shuffle visually still holds up pretty well uh, as well. Dishonored 2, $6. Love me some Dishonored. I picked up Dishonored 1 when physical PC games were still a thing. Still remember going to Target and picking up a hard copy of it. But Dishonored 2 improves upon the original, has two playable characters, so you have a little bit of replayability. $6 for it is a great pickup, and I would strongly recommend it. Uh, has a variety of ways to play it. You can go more stealthy, you can go more action-oriented. The stealthy approach is in my opinion, more satisfying, and I think most people agree with that, but nevertheless, $6 on that. Next up, gotta give a shout to Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, visual novels was not a genre that I was always into, but I was listening to a podcast way back in the day, and they constantly talked up Danganronpa, and I had to check out the game after so many people gushing about it. Originally picked it up on my PlayStation Vita and loved it. It's like a 15 to 20 hour story driven title and I completed it in like two days. That's how engaging the story is. A lot of twists and turns, but bear in mind, it does have some wackiness, has some zaniness. It's not going to be for everyone, but narratively speaking, it is so hooking. Give it 30 to 45 minutes and I guarantee you it's going to hook you in. Um, again, some over the top elements, but for this price, I think it's a great deal. So check that out. Wolf Among Us, 65% off for $5.24. Another super narrative driven title. Of course, this is a Telltale game. In my opinion, 1A, 1B as far as Telltale titles go. It goes Walking Dead Season 1 and The Wolf Among Us. Wolf Among Us is awesome and it's a game that came out over a decade ago and we're finally getting a sequel it's such a well done game more of a mature telltale title but man the main character is great and the supporting cast is solid as well a lot of mystery in it as well um ending was was it uh, i wasn't crazy about the ending but it was fine um it was one of those ones that i think is going to be a little divisive but nonetheless 524 for wolf among us i think is great so definitely pick that up uh, a lot of resident evil games on sale resident evil 2 was one that definitely i got a mention 9.99 on that really kicked off the Resident Evil remake craze and now we just had the release of RE4 earlier this year but RE2 really kicked it all off and it was phenomenal uh just a great remake obviously a little bit shorter in length but visually looks great and they did upgrade it adding new uh graphical features as well so 10 bucks for that solid pickup check out village check out revelations check out re4 if you want to spend 60 bucks but uh yeah a lot of great deals as far as resident evil goes next up ace combat 7 skies unknown 85 percent off for nine dollars great action flight title over the top gameplay fast-paced gameplay phenomenal soundtrack that is underrated from a soundtrack standpoint ace combat 7 in my opinion one of the more underrated ones that you're gonna come across nine bucks for this is a great pickup so definitely check that out phoenix Wright ace attorney trilogy 67 percent off for 9.89 Great deal for a trio of story-driven titles. Now, Phoenix Wright is a little bit dated. I believe it originally started on the Game Boy Advance. Over here stateside, I think Phoenix Wright 1 was on the DS, however, but in Japan... It started on the GBA. They're still incredibly gripping uh, story-driven titles. A lot of twists and turns with these ones as well. And Capcom is doing another Phoenix Wright, uh, or I should say they're doing another Ace Attorney trilogy um, that will be coming out, I believe, later this year. So you can be on the lookout for that as well. 
Next up, a lot of Assassin's Creed games on sale. Look, I'll give a shout out to Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but they've got, like, everything on sale. Not a fan of Ubisoft locking Mirage behind Uplay and Ubisoft Connect, but what can you do? Uh, the older Assassin's Creed games are still some of my favorite titles, and Syndicate does not get enough love. I think it's a great game. Um, a lot of other quality games. AC2, still a classic. AC4, obviously a classic. I mean, everybody, who doesn't love AC4? Um, Brotherhood's good. Val uh, Valhalla's on sale. Odyssey's on sale, Origins is on sale, Odyssey and Valhalla over 10 bucks, but Origins is 9, um, yeah, you can pick whichever one you want, I would go with AC2, Syndicate 4, as far as classic titles go, and then the newer games, I mean, Origins is under $10, so maybe go with that, uh, next up, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, I'm a homer for Spyro, I grew up with Spyro, so when the, uh, when it came to be that they're gonna remake the original trilogy, oh yeah, I'm all on board with that, 75% off for $9.99, it's just a quality platformer as well, Spyro, I think, is, you know, one of those mascots that's not utilized as much, and hopefully with, um, you know, everything going on with Activision, maybe Microsoft will utilize Spyro a little bit more, because I think Spyro is due a new title. Much like Crash, got Crash Bandicoot 4, but Spyro Trilogy, $9.99, great deal on that as well. Uh, next up, Pillars of Eternity, 75% off for $7.49. Obsidian RPG here, Obsidian crushes it with their RPGs. Uh, Avowed, I know, people are a little skeptical on, but you know, Pillars of Eternity was great, uh, a lot of replayability here, a lot of content as well, obviously a bit of a throwback, so bear that in mind, it's more of a classic RPG, but, uh, for $7.49 with the Hero Edition, that's a great pickup, the Definitive Edition is $9.99 as well, that'll include the White March Part 1 and the White March Part 2, so that might be something you want to look at. Next up, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, I would get Blind Forest as well, again, these are available through Game Pass as well, but, um, these games are fantastic. Metroidvanias, phenomenal art direction in these games. Emotional storytelling as well. They are just incredibly well-designed games. And some of the best games that Microsoft has published in the last decade. And, you know, maybe that's not saying a lot to you guys. But these games are tremendous and I would strongly recommend them. There's a reason why Will of the Wisps has over 100,000 reviews on Steam. 96% of those reviews are positive. Whenever you have north of 100k reviews and overwhelmingly positive, that says something uh, pretty highly about the game. Next up, Devil May Cry 5, 67% off for $9.89. Another Capcom game, but another fantastic game. Fast-paced action title. Great soundtrack. Devil Trigger should be on everybody's phone, and uh, they should be listening to that 24-7. It's a great song. Uh, gameplay is great. I'm not crazy about the DMC lore and the narrative, but some people are super into it, so uh, take it for what you will. You do get the Virgil DLC for $9.89 as well, so that's pretty good. Definitely check that out. Dying Light Definitive Edition, 80% off for $9.99. Great deal for Dying Light. No brainer there. Uh, in my opinion, stronger than Dying Light 2, and most people do agree with that. Dying Light 1 is a great survival horror open world title. A bit of a more op uh, contained open world, but uh, a lot of content here, especially with the additional content that the Definitive Edition is going to offer you. Steam Deck Verified as well, so if you want to play it on there. A lot of these games are Deck Verified. I think literally every game I mentioned has been at least Deck Playable, so... Keep that in mind. Uh, also, with the deck being 20% off, that is something to consider. Borderlands 2, Game of the Year Edition, 80% off for $7.99. Borderlands 2, in my opinion, is the peak of Borderlands. It is fantastic. A ton of content here. Uh, I believe, yeah, you are missing the one expansion, but that, that DLC is so superfluous that, like, you don't even need it. Um, at least in my opinion. Look, you're going to get a lot of content here, and you're going to be more than satisfied. You can play Borderlands solo. Don't worry about that. If you got a couple friends that are going to pick it up as well, by all means, check it out. Uh, co-op but eight dollars for borderlands 2 is a great deal so definitely check that out next up we do have kingdom come deliverance uh 75 off for 749 but you want to look at the royal edition which is 75 off for 999 additional content here as well uh more of a realistic rpg open world rpg a lot of content not for everyone for sure but visually uh, very appealing, and uh, if you're a fan of more historic settings, uh, Kingdom Come is probably going to be right up your alley, and the Royal Edition does include the bonus content, so nice little pickup there as well. And then lastly, a couple of Bethesda titles, Skyrim Special Edition, uh, $9.99, I mean, everybody at this point has it, but if you don't, go pick it up. Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition, that's $6.59, that's a great deal as well, so definitely uh, cop that at uh, sub-7 bucks, that's always going to be a good deal. Obviously, there's a lot more deals under $10 than this. This. we'll keep it to 20 for now maybe this will be part one we'll do part two uh because like yo i'm not even talking about games like shadow of war doom eternal i think is 9.99 there's so many games that are at sub 10 bucks that is honestly like mind-blowing um evil within you know those are all bethesda games that i just mentioned but you guys get the idea um 
you know, there's a ton of games. AI the Somnium Files, another great visual novel that's under 10 bucks right now. Final Fantasy titles, FF13, I know that's like the black sheep, and I don't know why I'm bringing that one up, but that is under 10 bucks. Um, you know, a lot of great deals, to say the least, as a part of the summer sale. Thousands and thousands and thousands of games on sale. So, links to all of these in the description box below. If you guys have any suggestions for people that are watching this video, leave them in the comments. Maybe, uh, maybe you guys can suggest me some stuff, because I know a big complaint with these videos is that I mentioned the same thing over and over again. I'm just one man. I can't play every game under the sun. And, uh, you know, there's a finite time in every day and there's new games coming out all the time. So my apologies, you know, uh, I can't be playing a yeah, hundred games simultaneously. It's just not feasible for me. But nevertheless, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will right, we'll catch you guys in the next one. N links to everything down, uh, down in the description box. So have a great one. Pick up some good games, do some gaming and, uh, going to be a great summer, uh, for everyone. So as always, thanks for watching. Peace out. Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Here to go over 20 more PC game deals under the price of $10 as a part of the Steam Summer Sale. Uh, I double checked it, pretty sure there's no crossover with the last video, but I think after this video, I have legitimately covered like over a hundred deals now, and my mind is just like literally starting to lose a little focus here, but there's a lot of great games on discount, like I was looking through the under $10 deals, and I was like, man, I could keep going through this, and there's just so much more stuff just popping up, like there are so many good deals, like legitimately thousands upon thousands of deals, so it's, it's endless as far as all the great games that you can pick up, so uh, yeah, keep that in mind and if uh i get a little bit redundant give me uh cut me a little bit of slack since uh there's a ton of stuff on sale but let's get right into it we'll try to get through every game relatively quickly ghost runner is 70 percent off for 8.99 there is a complete edition that's 28 bucks there was some dlc released kind of recently I really enjoyed my time with Ghost Runner. Is it a game for everybody? Probably not, but I thought the parkour gameplay and the platforming in this game was so good. It is difficult, and at times I was raging at this game, but uh, it's also incredibly satisfying. The soundtrack is great, and also it does a good job that even if you have a failed run, it puts you right back into the action, so uh, it just keeps the game flowing really, really well. I think for $9, a really good deal, so check that out. Next up, Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition, 70% off for nine dollars this is dragon age origins as well as the awakening a dlc and some other stuff as well um for a lot of people dragon age origins is peak bioware i mean you can go at dragon age origins some of the earlier mass effect titles but dragon age origins is fantastic it is a little bit more of a slower pace game but uh i really enjoyed a great story and uh probably the peak of the dragon age series for a lot of people as well with two you know going that action route and three um you know, I really like 3, but Origins is probably uh, where it's really great. Next up, GTA 4 The Complete Edition. Man, GTA 4 for some people is a classic. I didn't like it as much as a lot of other people, but it's still an enjoyable game to go through. Now, this, The Complete Edition, will also get you episodes from Liberty City, which is a nice addition of bonus content super mature game of course um you know kind of wacky as well as and as far as the story goes i didn't like it as much as gta 5 i definitely think gta 5 without a doubt is the way superior game but gta 4 is still decent shows its age at this point being a 15 year old game but for six bucks i think it's pretty good uh control ultimate edition 75 percent off for 9.99 man i loved control and i actually think this is remedy's best game maybe that's not too big of a statement i mean they did do the early max pain games and i did think control was better than alan Wake. I thought it was better than Quantum Break. It's just a great game, solid main character, good story, and the gameplay is so much better than some of the other Remedy titles, uh, especially Alan Wake, uh, in my opinion, and Quantum Break, to be perfectly honest. Great game, visuals are great. $9.99 is a great buy for that. Next up, Little Nightmares 2, 67% off for $9.89. An incredibly atmospheric uh, adventure horror game. You got some puzzles in there. Incredible ambiance to this game. And uh, Little Nightmares has really carved out a nice franchise for Bandai Namco to rely on. So $9.89 for this, pretty good deal on that. Next up, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, 75% off for $7.49. Uh, obviously, you should play Blind Forest first. There is a collection with both Blind Forest and Will of the Wisps, 78% uh, off for $11.23. The game is incredibly artistic, soundtrack is awesome, so stylish, and I mean, most people are going to be grabbed by this game, by the visual style and the aesthetics, but then you actually realize that the gameplay has some depth to it. It's a fantastic game, and I strongly, strongly recommend it. Yes, it's on Game Pass, some of the Xbox titles are on Game some of the games in general are just on Game Pass, but man, Ori's one of those games you want to have in your library. 
Speaking of available on Game Pass, man, I'm gonna give a shout out to Gears 5. I know some people hate Gears these days, and I understand, um, but I liked Gears 4 and 5, especially from a single player standpoint, like, that's where I'm coming at these games from, um, I thought they were enjoyable, I thought some of the environments looked great in the game, I thought the gameplay was good, and, uh, obviously from a multiplayer standpoint, it didn't resonate with a ton of people, but I thought it was a pretty solid campaign, and, uh, you know, Gears is just one of those games I'm always gonna have a soft spot for, I, it's one, it's a franchise I did grow up with, um, you know, not definitely, definitely not my favorite multiplayer franchise, like, it was probably Killzone and Halo over Gears, but, uh, Gears was still a good time, man, and Gears 5, it's not the best Gears game, it's no Gears 2, but, uh, it's still a decent time. Next up, we have A Way Out, which is 80% off for $5.99, a great co-op title that is only playable in co-op, that is the caveat with this game and Haze Light's title, they also did It Takes Two, uh, a great game that is relatively short, but if you want a game to go through with a friend, uh, this is a really good one, the story has some twists and turns, and the character development is really, really great, I think for $6, it's quite a good buy, uh, so check that out. Next up we have code vein 85 percent off for nine dollars often referred to as anime souls and you can definitely see that shine through it is a great action rpg uh the story isn't anything to write home about but you know gameplay wise it's fairly good character designs are great and uh a decent bit of customization options as well for nine bucks uh pretty solid pickup there next up here's a game that i was addicted to for a while dj max respect five when the world went to hell DJ Max was the game that I got super into. Uh, it is just such a good time, and I I'm never going to be good at these style of music rhythm games, but there's some great soundtracks here, and uh, the presentation and how they do the various tracks is really well done now the caveat to this game is that yes you can buy the base game for $9.99 but boy oh boy you want all the content be prepared to shell out because that complete edition while it is 79% off is $137 there's an absurd amount of DLC to DJ Max which you do have to consider you're gonna get you know a decent bit of tracks with the base game but if you want everything uh yeah get ready to pay an arm get ready to pay an arm and a leg for that so just be mindful of that but the base game will still offer you a decent bit of fun to get out of so i would say you know give it a shout uh next up resident evil 7 biohazard 67 uh, 60% off for 7.99 excuse me there is the gold edition which is 1586 and then you can get both village and a 7's gold edition for 40 bucks which actually isn't that bad of a buy uh resident evil 7 is a great game that really brought resident evil back to the forefront they did a great job with this game in creating an incredibly atmospheric horror game after Resident Evil 6 left a lot to be desired. This is a really, really good one. Definitely does a good job of really immersing you into the game as well. Uh, a lot of spooky moments to say the least. It's great, and uh, after you play this, I would recommend Village. Obviously, the 2, 3, 4 remakes are good buys as well, but uh, yeah, good time with RE7. Next up, South Park The Stick of Truth. A great RPG done by Obsidian, a fantastic time, comedy is there. Comedy is, it was surprising how much I got into it because I wasn't a fan of South Park at all. Had nothing against it, just never really gave it a chance. And fundamentally, it's a well-made turn-based RPG. Uh, good on Obsidian for taking South Park and making a great game out of it. And that's exactly what you're going to get out of Stick of Truth 749 on that. Next up, let's just go through some of the Assassin's Creed games I'd recommend. Okay, so we have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, that's 749. Assassin's Creed Rogue is six dollars and then you have assassin's creed 2 six dollars the entire trilogy is six dollars a pop so i would say you know start with ac2 definitely play brotherhood and revelation so you know those are the ones i'm gonna give you guys a recommendation for there is assassin's creed origins as well that is down to nine dollars and honestly while i don't like the new style of assassin's creed games for the sheer amount of content you're getting with a game like that uh that is very much worth it so you know assassin's creed a franchise that it's a love hate for me i love the older style assassin's creed games the newer ones I, I'm not going to say I hate them, but uh, they definitely... I, I hate the fact that I can't get into them as much as I could the older Assassin's Creed games. Let's, get, let's put it that way, because for some people, uh, these games are fantastic, but not really my cup of tea, just too much content, a little bit too bloated uh, for my liking. Next up, Disco Elysium, the final cut, 75% off for $9.99. Now, you guys might know there was some turmoil with 
uh, the publisher and the developers of this game. I'm not going to go too deep into that, but if that's going to push you away from supporting the game, I understand. The game itself is tremendous. The writing is incredible. Uh, it is a little bit slower paced, but also uh, it's incredibly replayable. A lot of different decision making um, that is going to make you actually feel like it has consequences because I feel like that's a lot of the times problems with games that have a lot of decision uh, decisions. There's not a lot of consequences attached to them. With Disco Elysium, there's absolutely consequences there, so that's quite good. But uh, yeah, $9.99 for that is great. Metro Exodus is $5.99 for the base game. Gold Edition is $7.99. My least favorite of the Metro games, but I still really enjoyed it. I still thought it had a solid atmosphere to it, and the gameplay was good. Visually, it's great, and for this price point, $8 with the bonus content, definitely a good buy. Arma 3 is $7.49. Arma was a franchise that I really grew up with starting out PC gaming. I mean, I think with a lot of people... Um, they remember Arma 2 and the DayZ mod. Like, that's my fondest memory of Arma. But Arma 3 was a good time as well. There's a lot of bonus content with the game. The Ultimate Edition is on sale. There's a Veterans Pack. There's the Apex Edition, etc., etc. But if you're looking for a realistic military shooter, Arma's going to offer you that. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, 85% off for $7.49. I'm not crazy about Xenoverse, but I know a lot of people that really loved it. I get the style of, you know, altering the Dragon Ball history, the customization. That is definitely there and quite well done with Xenoverse. And they've kept this game quite updated as well. Uh, some of the update uh, updates are paid content, so bear that in mind. But if you're a Dragon Ball fan, you'll probably enjoy that. Deep Rock Galactic is 67% off for $9.89. If you're looking for a co-op title, uh, it doesn't get much better than Deep Rock Galactic. A ton of content, a ton of replayability here and uh the reception for the game has been incredibly strong visuals are quite nice as well so sub 10 bucks for that is great and then the valve complete pack 96 percent off for 654 i want to give this a mention at the end if you're a new pc gamer this pack is just absurd with the amount of value you get you get the half-life games counter-strike source portal portal 2 left 4 dead 1 and 2 uh just tremendous value uh with all the content you're getting really a must buy for those of you getting into pc gaming for the first time but that is gonna do it for me again a ton of great deals available right now across Steam Summer Sale. Links to everything in the description box below. Thanks for everyone following my coverage of this sale. Uh, really do appreciate it, but that'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to continue covering uh, the Steam Summer Sale. You guys have been showing a lot of love for these videos, so I really appreciate it. And by a lot of love, I mean that the likes have been insane, the views have been insane, you guys have been leaving a lot of supportive comments, and that does uh, warm my cold and dark heart, so I really do appreciate it. But one of the top rated comments in the last video uh, was, it, uh, was a request to do games under the price of $20, and the person mentioned that this is the price point where a lot of people are looking to pick up high quality games at this price point you know sometimes when we go under 10 under 5 they might be you know really really old games under 20 is interesting because what you guys are going to notice is that there's a lot of jrpg love in this video so if you don't like jrpgs i am sorry but the thing is jrpgs tend to hold up in price uh and they bottom out usually at the 15 to 20 dollar range so you see a lot of that available outside of like the bandai namco jrpgs like the Square Enix JRPGs really do hit that uh, 15 to $20 price threshold and they don't get cheaper. There's definitely some other stuff here. There's a lot of great deals, but a lot of JRPG love. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. And I remember seeing this deal and immediately telling one of my boys to pick it up. And I'll tell all of you guys uh, to pick it up as well. Near Automata, 50% off for $19.99. This game is awesome platinum games did a phenomenal job with this game from an action standpoint the gameplay is great the soundtrack is tremendous the story initially can be a little bit confusing but um after you complete the game entirely it does come together and this is just a fantastic fantastic game i do recommend near replicant as well but automata is the stronger game and just so many great battles so many great scenes soundtrack like i said is great 20 bucks is a no-brainer here would definitely give that a look. Next up, we have Detroit Become Human. 50% off for $19.99. I wish this was at the $14.99 or hell, even the $9.99 tier, but this has not been going cheaper uh, since it came out back in June of 2020. So, 
20 bucks is what it is. Detroit's a good game. If you're into more mature narrative driven games, Detroit's going to be exactly for you. It's a futuristic title that really tackles a lot of different thematics in an interesting world that I think is very, uh, very much something people want to discuss. Obviously, an over, -top, uh, over the top version, but definitely a discussion point that I think people can find uh, fascinating. So I would highly recommend it. And what I always say about these story driven games is I would recommend you to play it blind the first time through. Uh, that, in my opinion is how these games should be experienced if you want to go back and then use a guide and everything like that go for it but i think you should just immerse yourself into the game and you know go through it don't bother looking up guides and things like that i, I think you should just go through it it's a great game 1999 definitely go check that out chain decos 20 percent off for 1999 this is a more recent release so that's why it's not as steep of a discount but man if you're a fan of throwback rpgs this game is so so good a well done turn-based jrpg that that has a great art style that, again, is a throwback to that 16-bit style. They were going for 16-bit and uh, PS1 influence with this game, and man, that hits home really well. Story's great. Game's got a lot of content. $19.99, I think, is a great price, so go check that out. Definitely a worthwhile one there. Next up, Walking Dead Telltale Definitive Series. I mentioned Walking Dead Season 1 in the Under 5 video, I believe. But, man, if you just want to get the whole thing in one rip, the Telltale Definitive Series is a great pickup. This gets you Seasons 1 through 4, 400 Days, and The Walking Dead Michonne. What you're getting is over 50 hours of gameplay, 23 episodes. Now, are all Walking Dead seasons created equal? No. I think Walking Dead peaks with Season 1 and 2. Season 3 is okay, and Season 4 is really good as well. It's good. Um, man, I, I, I like season one and two the best. Like, and well, season one especially, uh, I like the best. But overall, it's a great episodic uh, story and I would highly recommend it. I played Walking Dead the Telltale series before I watched The Walking Dead. At this point, now I've watched The Walking Dead, uh, at least a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I played the Telltale series first and I had a fantastic time with it, so I would highly recommend it. $19.99 is a good price on this. Next up, another great JRPG series, Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, 50% off for $19.99. Kind of a relevant recommendation as Trails to Reverie is coming out this Friday. Now, don't even worry about Trails to Reverie because if you're going to be picking up Trails of Cold Steel, that tells me at best you've played the Sky Trilogy and the Crossbell arc. Uh, and for a lot of you guys, you're probably jumping right into Trails of Cold Steel. Legend of Heroes is a vast, vast JRPG franchise that is honestly pretty daunting and I can understand why people can't get into it because there's so much content that you have to consume if you want to get everything. There's a lot of people that'll say, don't start off with Trails of Cold Steel. I'm of the mindset that Trails of Cold Steel is a decent starting point because if you go back and you play the Sky Trilogy or you play the Crossbell games, which the Crossbell games just got localized recently those games absolutely show their age. Trails of Cold Steel, I'm not saying is the best looking game on the planet, but it's a, it's a good enough looking game where I think people can still get into it and not be off put by the visual style or anything like that. And yeah, and I know I recommended Chain Deckos earlier, but that's a throwback art style. Like the, the older Legend of Heroes games certainly show their age. And I think Trails of Cold Steel is an okay starting point. If you want to play the older games, by all means do it. It's just these games are some of the best JRPGs from a world building and narrative standpoint that you're going to find. Now, not every game is a slam dunk home run, but they have a crazy good batting average, and Trails of Cold Steel 1 is a great game that, yes, a lot of Cold Steel 1 is setting the table for the rest of the Cold Steel arc, but the second half of this game... And right into Cold Steel 2, it's just insane what they were manage, uh, what they are managing to pull off from a storytelling standpoint. So, uh, my diatribe over. I don't want to get into spoilers, but also the ending of Cold Steel 1, absolutely insane. But 1999 is a good buy. If you're into JRPGs, check it out. Again, it's just a daunting, arduous process to go through all the games. You're talking, you know, 80 to 100 hours a game. So, you know, there's a lot to go through. Next up, Red Dead Redemption 2, 67% off for 1979. One of my favorite games of all time. Like, RDR 2 is a tremendous game with one of the best main characters that you are going to find in gaming, Arthur Morgan. And hell, if we get that RDR 1 remaster, we're going to get another one of the best characters in all of gaming, finally on PC, and John Marston. Marston, obviously, in RDR 2. Uh, but RDR 2 is great. You don't need to play RDR 1 to enjoy RDR 2. RDR 2 is a prequel to RDR 1. Um, um, great game, a lot of content and a lot of variety in the content, but the thing is, you don't gotta do all the content. You can go right through the main story and have a very satisfying experience doing that. You can dabble in some of the side content and figure out which what you want to do, or you could go for the 100% run, which is definitely a long undertaking, but the game is great. 
Voice acting is excellent. Visuals are great. Uh, RDR2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and I strongly, strongly recommend it. Uh, next up, Persona 5 Strikers. It is down to 1979. Really good deal for P5 Strikers, uh, for sure. Uh, I would recommend you to play Persona 5 Royal first. That's obviously at a higher price point right now, uh, over $30, but... P5 Strikers is a good game that goes in the form of a Musou style game, so a fast-paced action game, but I was surprised at how much I enjoyed this game. Like, I thought it was like, okay, maybe Sega's looking at how well Persona 5 did and they're trying to throw together a sequel, but no, nah, I thought it was like just genuinely a pretty solid game that was a, that had the love of a Persona game, like the style and the aesthetics, but also had a different you know, gameplay uh, loop to it that made it pretty enjoyable all the same. So, you know, at this price point, 1979, I think it's a good buy. Speaking of Persona, gotta give a shout out to Persona 4 Golden, which is 25% off for $14.99. Uh, for a lot of people, you know, they prefer Persona 4 over Persona 5. I don't know if I'm in, in agreement with that, but Persona 4 was a tremendous game. I initially played Golden when it came out on the PS Vita, and you know, uh, PS Vita be damned, but Persona 4 Golden on a handheld was fantastic, and, uh, P4G is just a tremendous, tremendous game. Great story, great cast of characters, soundtrack is awesome. Uh, strongly recommended at this price, no brainer. Next up, we got Forza Horizon 4, 67% off for $19.79. Now, the Forza Horizon games have a lot of bonus content. There's a deluxe edition for $28 and an ultimate edition for $35. I personally bought the base game on Steam, and that's what I usually do with Forza Horizon. I love the Horizon games myself. Forza Horizon, that is. We'll get to the other Horizon game in a little bit, but Forza Horizon is a game that I can always get into, and I usually, when they come out, I'll play them on Game Pass, and then when they go on sale, I buy them on Steam to own them because they're games I can jump back into. And with the licensing stuff, I, I just want to own those games. Um, yeah, Forza Horizon 4 is great. A lot of content. Soundtrack is good. And, uh, you know, these are games where I can just mentally tune out and just enjoy racing around an open world, doing some activities. It's a fun time, and I always enjoy them. So, sub-20 bucks. Goodbye there. Next up, we have Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. Obviously, Larian Studios kind of in the news right now as they're about to put out Baldur's Gate 3. But Divinity Original Sin 2 was a tremendous RPG. Now... I wasn't of, of the mindset of a lot of other people where they thought this was, like, the best RPG of all time. But honestly, it seems like I'm in the minority with that line of thinking. Like, more people seem to think this is one of the best RPGs of all time than my line of thinking where I just think it's a really good game. It's got a lot of depth to it. You can play it with friends, and that is uh, probably the best way to play the game. But you can still enjoy it uh, alone. The environments and the visuals are actually one of the sleeper elements of the game. I think it looks really good. So... You know, pretty solid game. Obviously, narratively, uh, quite strong as well. So check that out. Uh, at $17.99, pretty good deal there. There is a Divine Edition that's available for a little more. Next up, Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. This is 55% off for $18. Man, Ease 8 is awesome and a great starting point for Ease fans. Ease, you can jump into it wherever. They all kind of have their standalone story with Adol uh, as the main character. Great game. Soundtrack is really good. Obviously, it shows its age. Like, Ease is never going to be a franchise that really blows you away from a visual standpoint. But, um, you know, it's a good game, and the action gameplay is solid. Uh, and overall, thought it was a pretty good game from a story standpoint as well. At this price of $17.99, I think it's a really good deal, and I would give it a shout. Next up, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, 67% off for $16.49. Man, Horizon is a game that I love. Zero Dawn especially. Forbidden West, I thought, got off the rails from a narrative standpoint in the second half, but Zero Dawn is really, really great, and, um, you know, the story in this game is so strong. The world building is really strong. I know some people go back and forth on the gameplay. I think the gameplay is pretty good. Like, the bow and arrow stuff, I, I think it's fine, and you have all of this different equipment you can use. Maybe play it at a more challenging difficulty, and you'll get more out of it from a gameplay standpoint, but I really had a good time with uh, Zero Dawn, and for $16.49, I think it's a really good buy, you get the Frozen Wilds DLC, which is a low-key, like, a really, really good expansion, so $16.49 for this, definitely a good buy. Another PlayStation title, we got Days Gone, 67% off for $16.49, man, Days Gone was a game that has built up such a cult following of people that are desperate to get a sequel. Like, there have been only a few games where I've seen as much desperation to get a sequel for it than I have in Days Gone. Like, people want a Days Gone sequel uh, so badly. Um, I thought the game was good. Uh, its PlayStation 4 release was really handcuffed by its technical limitations, and that's obviously mostly removed on the PC release. There's some hiccups here and there, but it is a far, far better experience, and uh, what you're getting here is a solid open-world game. It's not the best PlayStation open world release, far from it, but it's a good one, and there's still a lot of fun to be had. The 
most glaring criticism for this game is this one of those games that could really have been done better if some of the uh, content of the, of the game was just straight up shaved out. Like, it, it kind of overstayed its welcome towards the end, and, uh, you know, it would have been better from that regard. But, you know, more content's not necessarily a bad thing, and 1649, I think, is a good, uh, good price. Great PC port here as well. Next up, Resident Evil Village, 50% off at 1999. Gold Edition is 30 bucks. RE Village is a great game, one of my favorite titles of 2021. Uh, one of those titles that really helped, that is continuing to help bring Resident Evil back to the forefront. By the release of Village, like Resident Evil was already back, but uh, yeah, Village is a great game. Great visuals in this one, not super, super lengthy, but the atmosphere is tremendous, and uh, if you've been playing Resident Evil, Village is one worthwhile to play. I would recommend you to play Biohazard first, though, so keep that in mind. Next up, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, $14.99, 75% off. This is just a disgusting deal. Like, the value you're getting out of this is just absurd. Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and all of the game's respective DLCs. This is Bioware at their peak form. Say what you want about Mass Effect 3's ending. Mass Effect 3 is still a great game. Mass Effect 2 who is one of the legitimately one of the best games of all time i don't think anybody disagrees with that like it seems like if you look at like top 10 games of all time list mass effect 2 is usually in the mix and mass effect 1 was great in 2007 they did what they can uh, to you know bring it back uh to a modern audience but you know, it still shows its age, but it's still a really good game. All three for $15 is just stellar. So much replayability, so much great writing in the game as well. Um, just a fantastic game with a lot of content. Highly, highly recommend Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Next up, we have Monster Hunter World, 50% off for $14.99. They do have the Iceborne Master Edition for $30. Monster Hunter World isn't a game that's going to hook you from a story standpoint, but man, if you want quality gameplay, a lot of big behemoths to fight, Monster Hunter is going to offer you that. It's probably not for everyone, but if you want a game that that's gonna have a sizable amount of things to do, a little bit of grind in there as well. Uh, World is gonna be a great time. Probably a sequel in the works for this. Uh, one would have to imagine. 15 bucks though, great deal on that. Next up, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We got this for 75% off, $14.99. I really enjoyed DBZ Kakarot. There are things that definitely did irk me. Some of the iconic DBZ moments were cut out. Not to go into spoilers, but off the top of my head, I believe they cut out like uh, Gohan's Masenko on Nappa, which I don't know about you guys, that was like an iconic moment, and, and like, just seeing that get cut out was so jarring, um, I guess spoilers, uh, spoiler alert, but most of you guys picking it up DBZ Kakarot, uh, are probably already familiar with the DBZ storyline, and I'm giving you guys spoiler alerts after I drop the spoiler, but nevertheless, uh, great game, um, you know, after the Cell arc, I don't really vibe with the Boo arc, but that's just my personal opinion. I thought everything up until the Cell arc was great. Um, and they do recreate a lot of the moments really, really well and a sizable amount of content. The thing is, there are a couple of DLC packs and things like that. So that is a little bit of uh, something to consider. Like, if you want all the content, you gotta buy the Legendary Edition, which is $60. The Deluxe Edition is $21.24. The thing is, they just dropped Season Pass 2, which includes, like, the Bardock DLC, there's a World Tournament DLC, and a third DLC that hopefully has something to do with Broly. Like, if they don't do a Broly DLC, they're leaving money on the table, but uh, I digress. $14.99 for the base game is really good. Next up, Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition, $17.49 on this. Man, FF15 was one of those games that I was so looking forward to when it was coming out in 2016. Obviously a game that had such an arduous development cycle, um... And it's still a good game. And the Windows Edition, the thing about this is it includes all the DLC content, which really does refine the game a lot. There are some shortcomings with the game for sure, but the action combat system is good. The soundtrack is great. Exploration is great. Visuals are stellar in this game. Um, you know, at this point, it is seven years old, so keep your expectations in line. But... Um, it still looks great, and uh, a lot of great boss battles, uh, FF15 is solid, hopefully we'll get FF16 soon on PC, but I wouldn't imagine that will be until, uh, 2024, but, yeah, 15's a good time, and, you know, you're not going into the game with the hype and the expectation that I had for the game, you know, a decade of waiting, um, it was gonna be hard for it to live up to my hype, but, uh, nevertheless, it's a good game, and at this price, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, another Final Fantasy title, FF10 10, uh, 10 and 10.2 HD Remaster, Final Fantasy 10 is an all time classic there are rumblings that there's gonna be a full-on remake for this game but that won't come out until 2026 which would be the 25th anniversary of ff10 so take that for what you will uh ff10 is great it's one of those final fantasy games that i feel like was unanimously loved i love the sphere grid system the story was great 
Obviously, it's a game from 2001, as great of an HD remaster can be. Uh, you're seeing a lot of dated elements. Some of the voice acting, the stiff animations. We, we could all, uh, like, just hilariously laugh at Titus laughing. So, but, uh, nevertheless, it's a great game. And the cinematics in this game, in the PS2 days, the early PS2 days, they looked tremendous. Um, you know, $15 for as much content as you're getting. It, it's a good buy, and I would definitely give it a shout. Next up, another great JRPG, Scarlet Nexus. 75% off for $14.99. Man, I love Scarlet Nexus, and I thought it was pretty underrated. Uh, it was a game that I really, really had a great time with. Uh, two playable main characters in Yuto and Kasane leaving the game you know, worthwhile to go through twice, and really, that's how you get the most out of the game. Combat is good, soundtrack is super underrated. The thing about this game is that there's not a lot of cutscenes in the game, and a lot of the game is told through a visual novel style, so that might off-put some people. Uh, there is exploration and things like that, but, like, the, the scenes themselves often play out in, like, visual novel style, so... Keep that in mind, but $15, good deal on that. And lastly, I want to give a shout to Ano Mutationum, which is 40% off for $14.99. Good deal here. Throwback pixel art style that looks really, really great. Um, the whole world of this game looks really good. The cyberpunk action title, 2D and 3D style. Combat, you know, is very simple at first, but does have a little bit of more depth as you unlock more abilities. But I had a good time with this game. The visual style is definitely what hooked a lot of people into it. But uh, yeah, $15 is a good price in my eyes. Uh, that is gonna do it for me. Again, a ton of great deals. We went kind of long in this video, but you know what? If you're dropping twenty dollars or you know fifteen to twenty dollars on a game, it, it's better that we go in depth on some of these games because that is a sizable amount of money to drop on a on a Steam sale. I know, like fifteen to twenty dollars on a game, that that sounds like pretty good, but on a Steam sale when there's games for you know three four bucks, when you're dropping fifteen to twenty, uh, th that is uh, warranting you know high quality titles. But I think this is a solid list of titles. Obviously, there's a lot more. As you guys know, I'm one man i can't play every game on the steam sale i know i'm always gonna get comments like that you gotta start recommending new games you gotta start you know recommending this game that game like at the end of the day i'm trying to play all the new games that come out i have my own backlog of games that i want to play i have games that i'm trying to replay like bruh i'm one dude like there's 24 hours of a day in a day and i gotta sleep as well and i gotta eat food like i'm trying my best guys i'm trying my best but uh i i'm just obviously kidding i'm, I'm obviously kidding i'm trying to do the best i can but uh nevertheless Nevertheless, that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Links to all of these deals in the description box below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.